Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book gut, the inside story of our body's most underrated organ. In recent years, due to a fast-paced and stressful lifestyle, people's lives are being threatened by various illnesses such as skin diseases, high blood pressure, stroke, depression, diabetes, and so on. It is a common practice for people to treat their diseases without addressing the root cause. But this often backfires. Many patients with increasingly severe symptoms are caught in a dilemma where they even begin to doubt modern medicine. When people are struggling to grapple the causes of illnesses, this book keeps us on track. It points out right away that our intestinal problems may cause those seemingly unrelated illnesses we just mentioned and other severe diseases like colorectal cancer. Usually, the gut isn't well liked. People generally think of it as a place that is responsible for eating, drinking, pooping, peeing, and farting. Yet the author points out that it is a super organ underrated due to its geographic location. It is both proud and temperamental, it can both sustain and take lives, it can boost the brain's capacity and productivity but also make people manic depressive. It is no exaggeration to say that a slight movement in the gut can affect the whole body. The author of this book Julia Enders, a doctor of medicine works at the Institute for Microbiology in Frankfurt. In 2012, her speech Charming Bowls won first prize at the Science Slam in Berlin and went viral on YouTube. The book got the inside story of our body's most underrated organ perfected on the basis of her speech, broke the record for sales of health science books in Germany and became the bestseller of the year. Enders was born by cesarean section and suffered from lactose intolerance as a child. By age 17, she had skin sores all over her body, but all the physicians could provide were vague diagnoses. This forced her to seek self-medication. From personal experience, she proved that many illnesses stem from intestinal problems. She also cured lactose intolerance and skin diseases by taking care of her gut. With this book, she wants to remind us of the following facts, only by understanding the way the gut works, feeling its temper, valuing, loving, and caring for the organ, can we prevent diseases and maintain our health. In this bookie, we'll explain the book in three parts. Part 1, Why the Gut is Vital to Our Body. Part 2, The Damage to Your Body Resulting from Ignoring the Gut. Part 3, how to take care of our gut to keep our body and mind healthy. We have the impression that the brain sits at the top of our body thinking and creating, while the gut is forever geographically located below the brain and seems to be only associated with toilets and excretion. In fact, the ability of the gut is comparable to that of the brain. Do you know that all the organs of our body consume energy, and only the gut can replenish our energy? As a component of the digestive system, the gut can help us absorb nutrients to stay alive. In this process, the gut can function independently of the brain. It is true that our brain is the commander-in-chief of the body, and if a part of the body is disconnected from the brain, it won't function properly. However, the gut is an exception. Even when the connection between the gut nerves and the brain is severed, all digestive activity can still proceed normally. It gathers information, makes decisions, issues, and strictly enforces commands. The digestive process is a perfect collaboration between the gut nerves and muscle groups. Now let's follow a piece of cake on its journey through the gut to get a glimpse into the digestive drama playing out in our body every day. First, when the cake enters the mouth, our teeth will grind it until it's mushy enough to be swallowed, supported by saliva. If we compare the cake's journey in our body to a stage show, the tongue and the throat are stage managers. The tongue oversees the actors and pushing the mushy cake down the throat, while the throat is responsible for directing the actors to the stage and preventing the cake mush from entering the nasal cavity by mistake. When the cake mush enters the esophagus, the organ will stretch and open wherever the cake goes. Once it passes, the esophagus will contract and close again. This blocks the food from going backwards and makes it only go in one direction, a process that still goes on even when the body is up 